Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a nursery tour of Olivia's nursery. Um, Olivia's been a little bit fussy today, so I've got her in her carrier, in her ergo baby. And Charlie's laying down for a nap, so let's get started with this video. Okay guys, let's get started. So, this hanging on her door is her little hospital door hanger that I made her. I got the supplies from Hobby Lobby and put it together one day when I was bored waiting for her arrival. I think I did a pretty good job. It's pretty cute. So also on this wall, we can start out right here. This is a painting of a little bird in a nest I had done a few years ago and I thought it would go pretty well with the room. This cubby storage. I believe we either got from walmart.com or target.com. The top left holds her little shoes and the top right holds her socks and mittens. The middle one holds her hats and her bibs. The bottom left holds just emergency bottles and bottles to pump with because I breastfeed. And the bottom right holds toys. The two bark wood looking candles, they are decorations from me and Austin's wedding. This vase here in the center, it holds her headbands and just hair bows. I got the vase, well actually Austin got me the vase. He got me an orchid a few years ago and this is the vase it came in. I thought it had a really pretty design on it. Up here. This fox I got from Hobby Lobby. It was on sale. I just paid a couple dollars for it and I thought it was really cute. This clock right here my dad gave me. I believe it's been in the family for a while. I thought it was really cool looking, really vintage looking, and it's just beautiful. This fox came from the baby's room in Florence. And this little basket holding the caterpillar was um, our flower girl basket at me and Austin's wedding and the little caterpillar came from Scotland my friend brought it home for little baby Olivia when she went to get married and we are just so thankful that she brought that to us so it's a pretty cool memory her little diaper stacker it has her monogram on it and it was custom made. It matches her bedding over here on this wall. The baby's room in Florence is where I got this bedding made. It's custom designed by me and the help of the workers at the baby's room. They were awesome and they helped me design exactly what I wanted. They were very patient with me and I picked out the fabric and everything. And I highly recommend them if you're looking for something a little bit more custom, a little bit more your own style. Because they're very patient and happy to help you. My very good friends own the business and it's wonderful for all of your things that you could ever need for your little baby. Um, also on this wall, this is just where I sit her car seat when we're not out and about. The rug in front of her crib is from Walmart. It's just a really pretty lavender color. I believe it's actually in the bathroom section. It's just a small bathroom rug actually. <laughs> I just thought it was really pretty. Now this flower arrangement up here comes from Hobby Lobby and I just put a little bird right there and a little um, hedgehog up there also from Hobby Lobby. I just love this. This is kind of the centerpiece of the whole room um, I love the floral, anything floral and the woodland creatures. I just love those. Now these um, little branch pieces on the sides of the crib are also decorations from our wedding that I just stuck over there. The deer comes from Hobby Lobby. Um, the little owl comes from Target and I got that cute unique pillow from my Nana. Um, and I'm not sure where the lamb comes from. It was a gift. Uh, the bunny rabbit comes from Target. We absolutely love those select stuffed animals. They're so adorable. Um, also on this wall, 
we have her dirty clothes hamper. It was a gift. And this shelf was also a gift for her. We have some very loving family and friends who love to gift us a lot of things. I also, before I forget, I forgot to mention that the crib we got from my aunt and uncle and they let us have it and we're super thankful for that. Um, on this top shelf, this is a candle. It comes from Bath and Body Works and here is a little pink box and a black teddy bear. And this little basket just holds a lot of just different items like a pacifier and a rattle and um, a teething necklace that I can't wait to use and a little Olivia doll and a pacifier clip with an O on it. Pretty cute. Up here this is a little drawing of Thumper from Bambi that I did a few years back and here is her frame with her foot and handprint now that handprint is completely messed up, but y'all, if you've ever tried to do it, it's hard. So I'm just proud of that cute footprint. <laughs> now on this wall right here, we've got her little chest. It's got all her little dress up clothes in it. It's got tutus and some cheesecloth. And this lamp I got from either Walmart or Dollar General, and I just put little hedgehogs from Hobby Lobby on it. And... Here is a little picture frame that has maternity and family pictures in it for little Olivia. Here's an Olivia book and another little book I like to read to her that was gifted by a friend. And this nightstand, the top drawer holds um, burp cloths and the bottom drawer holds blankets. This cute little woven basket was a gift and we absolutely love it. It holds all her cute blankets. We definitely love our blankets, and I mean, how could you not when you have a baby born in December? <laughs> now these little rabbits were in my husband's crib when he was a baby, so that's something really sentimental and special. The, the rocking chair was also gifted by our aunt and uncle. This, this mirror right here belonged to my grandmother. She passed away before I was born, so it's really special to me to have this incorporated into her room. This stroller was a gift by a close family friend, and we actually took pictures with it for our um, pregnancy announcement photos. Here is her closet. Most of her clothes right now are being washed and rehung up, and here's some storage for wipes and additional crib sheets down here and also bassinet sheets because she doesn't sleep in her crib right now in her room she sleeps in her bassinet in our room and the little Moses basket was a gift from my aunt I believe it came from a store in Florence called Bargain Hunt up here we have her Johnny Jumper and her Ergo Baby Box and some diapers we just have storage up there. On this wall, we just have some toys, her um, tummy time play mats, and her dresser. And hung up on this wall is um, paintings that were gifted to us by a close friend. She got her coworker to paint them, and I just think they're beautiful. This bunny right here, it holds some additional accessories for Olivia, some cute little headbands and hair bows. So we just have that in there. And this basket just holds odd and end things like little keepsakes from the hospital. And this little piggy bank owl right here was a Christmas gift from Olivia's cousins. And we have a little Be Brave sign. The top drawer holds just odd and end things like Olivia's, or well, the fetal Doppler I used when I was pregnant with Olivia. The next drawer down holds newborn clothes, which she is almost done with. So sad. I don't want her to grow. And then zero to three, and then three to six months sleepers and onesies. Well, that just about wraps up her nursery tour. If I forgot to mention where something 
was purchased from and you guys want to know or if you have any questions for me just leave it in a comment down below and don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys on Saturday.